that came before the committee uh, where the two senators from Florida, both Republicans, reached agreement with the White House to fill judicial vacancies at the district court level. We did one in South Carolina. Um, so here we are today. Uh, I don't buy anything you just said. <laughs> Let's just be real blunt and direct. This is uh, garbage. If you really thought this was a problem, why don't you bring up the Supreme Court Ethics Recusal and Transparency Act that was passed September the 5th, 2023, in this committee to fix the problem you just talked about. This bill is never going to see the light of the day. Go to Senator Schumer and tell him this is urgent. The country's going to collapse if we don't fix this problem. Why hasn't the majority leader brought up the bill that all of y'all voted for to fix this problem? It's never going to be brought up. These subpoenas are never going to see the light of the day. I don't know who's driving the train on your side, but you're driving the committee off into a ditch. So this is a joke, a complete joke. Senator Whitehouse, why can't you convince Senator Schumer to bring the bill up so we can amend it, debate, and vote on it on the floor of the United States Senate? It's the Supreme Court Ethics Recusal and Transparency Act. As a matter of fact, next week, I will go down and ask it be brought up. And we'll spend all the time we need as a body to determine what we should do with the Supreme Court. It was a party line vote. All of us voted no because we think it's a really bad idea. This jihad y'all have been on against the, uh, the Roberts Court is not even, there's transparency. I'll give you credit for that. Here's what you said. I mean, the majority leader of the Senate went to the steps of the Supreme Court and threatened them all. So at least you're honest about what you're trying to do. At least you were before. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you've unleashed the whirlwind and you will pay the price. I guess this is the price the Supreme Court's paying for offending you. So your response to the court you don't like is to try to basically take over how the court works in terms of their internal policing themselves about ethics matters, which all of us on our side feel like really uncomfortable because they're a separate branch of the government. And they did pass some rules that move in the right direction. But you want to pack the court. When you say you don't want to destroy the Roberts Court, I don't believe you. I don't believe a word you're saying. If it were up to you, there would be 13 members on the court, 15 members on the court, to dilute the Roberts Court. So you are trying to restructure the court. This is just another way to do it. And is there a consequence to all this rhetoric? Yeah. If you don't believe me, ask Judge Kavanaugh. Based on this idea, you've unleashed a whirlwind, we're going to come after you. Some nut job was caught outside of Justice Kavanaugh's home with a tactical knife, a Glock pistol, two magazines, pepper spray, zip ties, a screwdriver, a nail punch, a crowbar, and duct tape. But we're going to keep going, apparently. It's not enough we can work together on social media where we all agree there's being abuse and we all work together to do subpoenas. The reason I think this is a bunch of garbage and crap, to be honest with you, is I don't think you're remotely interested in bringing up the bill that passed the Senate uh, Judiciary Committee. If you really cared about this, we'd be on the floor a long time ago debating fixing this problem. You know you're not going to get 60 votes for these subpoenas. I don't know who you're trying to please. I don't know what group is going to feel better because we're doing this on your side. But you're pleasing like none of us. And this committee has functioned fairly well given what's going on in America today. So no, I don't buy one bit. This is about fixing a problem. This is about an ongoing effort to destroy this court to destroy Clarence Thomas's reputation, to pack the court, to get your way, to make sure the Supreme Court exists today, can't function.
the Democrats need to destroy Clarence Thomas's reputation. I'm not a real reader of the New Republic, but I think a lot of people on your side probably do. And this is what you're trying to do, and you're going to meet a real brick wall over here. And this is going to fundamentally change the way the committee operates. And it's a choice you made. Live with your choice. I'll end where I started. If you think this is a problem, bring up the bill passed by the committee. You have the power to do it. You're never going to do it because you know a lot of your own members won't support this. You know it's not going to work. You're trying to please a group. You're not trying to make this committee function. Before moving to the subpoena authorization, we consider the nominees. First is Judge Mustafa Kashubai, nominated to the U.S. District Court for the District of Oregon. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Chairman, are we going to have an opportunity?